good. We're at our Tulsa. I'm gonna call it our home track. You know, Thunder Valley is technically where we test and it's 30 miles from home, but when we go to race, this is our closest MPK event. It's in Oklahoma. We test here a lot also. We race here a lot. I mean, I've, I've raced here for 25 years. So I'm gonna call this my home track. Um, I feel pretty good. The weather's good. I uh, looked at the track last night. They scraped it a little bit, but it's probably gonna be one of the better surfaces that we've been on. Uh, I think it's gonna be a really good race. Um, I need, I don't know if I'm gonna, yeah, it's up, brother. Get up, brother. I don't know if I'm going to. I need to win this race. I've lost the last two or three. I can't remember at this point in time. Uh, we were up in elevation. Lower cars don't run great in elevation. And uh, what's up guys? And, uh, and, and we did really well. And I, and I was able to collect a good chunk of points, even though I felt like we were kind of underdogs. What's up? Uh, so, uh, you know, I feel pretty good. I, I just, I know we need to keep our head down and just grind this race out and get it, get it done, put it in the books and try to, uh, and try to pull this off for a win, keep my point standing where it's at, maybe increase a little bit of a lead or something, you know? Uh, he got school, you know? He got school. I'm like, okay, I get it. Well, dude, I, uh, I know you said stuff to me before. You've always like, you've been over the pits. You're like, man, what's up with those or whatever the case is. And I always told you you could ride mine whatever you wanted or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And I guess got to thinking, I've watched, like, I watch you with him. I see a lot of Javi and you. I'm sorry, I see a lot of you. How do I say, how do I say, how am I trying to say this? You act like Javi a lot. So like, your dad loses. That's good. <laughs> you get upset, you're passionate about it. And I don't know, man, I want you to have that. Really? Cheers. Yeah. And, it, and, uh, and I just, it's just kind of a, a just when I, when I step back and watch you guys or whatever, you, man, you, you're, you really care what he does. If he loses, you get upset about it. If you think he's getting screwed, I've seen you, you saw you got screwed at the line. You're passionate, you, you throw a fit, you know, and I've seen your mom and stuff going, hey, calm down, you know? Yeah. That, that's, hey, that's awesome. So anyway, I got some deals on those, not a big deal. I just thought you always ask about it. I just want you to have one. That'll get you around the pitch. You can help him better this way and all that. Yeah, thank you. Okay? All right, buddy. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Here's your charger, your, tools, your instructions, like your tools, whatever else you want. I don't know exactly. I can't remember. Javi will show you how to turn it up if you want to turn yeah, it up. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna yeah. get it. Well, hey, you can't have it turned down. Man. You take, uh, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's turned up, but you take this off. Yeah. And this goes All right. Do you want these? Oh, yeah. For the transmission? Yeah. Are these no leakers? Yeah. And they're no leakers? They're no leakers. Okay. That's what you, that's what's gonna sell me is because they're no leakers. Yes. Yeah. Alright, Adam. Roadrunner, Roadrunner, right Roadrunner. This is the man that owns it. These are badass transmission fittings right here. So like they look really good, but what gets me is that they're oh. hydraulic style. Yeah, so cool. they don't leak. And like the ones that are in my car, they're good, uh, but they leak and I don't like stuff that leaks. If you want if you want some of those. Call Roadrunner, they'll hook you up. Do you only make them in eight or ten? No, we make them all the way in from whatever. three all the way up to twelve. Okay. But six and eight flow the same, right? Yeah. So cool. Okay. I brought some for you if you want them. All right. Bring I brought them. a bag of them. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Tell me what size you need. Yeah. Right. Tell him what we owe you. All right. Yeah. And we'll just get, okay. Right. We're in a really good spot right now. We're 40, uh, 35 ahead of Kai, who is second, and then Robin's five points behind him, and then there's and then I think there's Justin Swanstrom in fourth at 60 behind me and then there's like a weird five-way tie for fifth uh we're in a good spot but the problem not a problem here's the deal with mpk there's four races left not only is there four races left but the last race is double points and a lot of people don't remember that or don't know it and so i can go in to the last race with a good lead and get screwed by double points it happened to me in season one Yep. And two, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Or one or the yeah. other. I don't remember. We no, lost. Season two is when they came up with a double. Okay, season two. Season one, I lost by five points to Bergman. He outran me here at this racetrack. Season two, uh, the double point thing got me, which, you know, we knew that it was double points from the beginning, so it was what it was. Uh, we were able to pull the win off in season three, and we're trying to double up and do it again here in season four. Um, we're in a good spot, but if I win this, we're in a better, we're in a better spot. You know, I, I felt like I kind of had a... Uh, Oh, I don't know. And I was kind of, I hate to say this because people are going to say, think I'm stupid, but almost, I almost felt like an underdog because I was going to 
6,500 foot of air in Tucson and 10,000 foot of air in Denver with the blower car. Well, the nitrous cars, they make their own atmosphere in a bottle, basically. So they're not affected like by the altitude like we are. The turbo cars are affected a tiny bit, but not very much. But the blower cars, it kills them. Uh, I was down 12 pounds of boost and about 20 mile an hour. So that's all I, I didn't, and then there's with a blower, with a turbo car, well, you just keep crank, keep cranking CO2 to the wastegate and make more power. You don't, we don't have that option with a, with a blower car. I did speed it up for Denver. Pro Charger stayed together flawless. We didn't have any issues. But all I did was get my boost back to where it was in Tucson. So here, I don't have any of those problems. So I, I've got the best race car I can have as fast as it's going to be for this race, Ennis, New Orleans, and Bradenton. So I need to make a big push. I'm not stupid. I probably no way I can win all four of those. But dang it, I'd sure like to take two of those home. Especially the last one. Especially that championship one. That's gonna that'd be exactly. the one. That's the one. I don't care if I win this one or the championship one. That would seal the deal. Well, now we got lots of uh, we got lots of cars. What location is the uh, championship at? It is in Braden, Bradenton, Bradenton, Florida. If I'm saying that right. Bradenton, Florida.
this yeah. in Colorado yeah. because it had a big yep. belly. Mm -hmm. So I did that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's still left in there. Like, oh. Um, and this, well, if you look at this room, like, uh. And look at this. Like the enrichment thing. This is where we were. Like, all the way to like, parts of I'll just go with one. But I know. Like, this right here went. Okay. And just load that one. Appreciate it, man.